Good morning and welcome to Vision Engraving Systems in Phoenix, Arizona, live in our InstaVision virtual showroom. This morning what we're going to do is we're going to work with the Vision VR48 4 by 8 foot router engraver. This particular system has a 48 by 96 inch working area and has the capability not only to have a router head, but also to have the optional engraving head. This particular job that we're going to do today is a 9 by 9 ADA compliant window sign. In order to make this particular project, we're going to use three different tools. One to drill the braille holes, one to cut out our applique, and then one to actually cut out our sign blank. The materials that we're going to use today is the Romark ADA alternative. Unique to this vision, to the vision product line on the routers is also the ability to have this engraving head. The engraving head allows you to do interior signage and engraving in addition to, in this case, be able to do the raster braille insertion process. So our first step is to set up the machine and insert our braille drill. So that's done very simply and easily just by taking the tool and loading it in the top of the spindle and then screwing it right into place. Once that is set, I have I can come into the software. I can come into the software and then I can select that I want to do my ADA cut braille text. When I do this, you'll notice that it dropped out all of the other particular pieces of our particular project. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this job over to the machine and the machine is going to flash and indicate that it's loaded and ready to go and then I'm going to change your view so that you can actually see this insertion process. So the first step is to send the machine out to drill our braille holes. Now the machine is going to flash and indicate that we are ready to use and insert our braille beads and we do that by lowering the pin and just resetting the thumb screw. Now the machine will come in and automatically insert the braille beads. Once complete, we take a piece of the 132nd inch row mark with the adhesive backing on there and place it just above our braille holes. At the same time, we go ahead and change the cutter from the braille drill to the cutter appropriate for cutting our raised characters. In the software, we simply select ADA plot, cut raised elements, and then you can see that I have my outline cuts and I also have my ADA raised tactile. So what I will do is simply just select the ADA raised tactile and you can see that the rest of my cuts and my cut preview have gone away. So we'll double check our settings and make sure that everything is set appropriate, and it is. And we'll send this job over to the machine. So now the machine is going to flash and indicate that it's prepared to cut, and we'll start the job. And then into your frame, you will see the spindle come in and actually cut our raised characters. Once that step is completed, you simply change out the tool to be in our to do our outside cut. And then we also go ahead and we weed away the excess material of the row mark material that we didn't use for those characters. So what you'll see is as we do this is it simply just peels off, leaving you the characters in place. Now the last step in this is to actually pop out the center of that zero. And once that's done, you can see that we have the raised tactile and then the braille just underneath it. So if you look at the software, the machine is prepped and understands what my next cut is, being one step ahead of me. I simply select the green, and you'll notice that it sent the green over, and now the machine is flashing, indicating that it's ready to do my cuts. So now it's going to come in and actually cut my sign blanks.
So the first cut is the window. And then the second cut is the outside, including our thumb cutouts. Now for this particular job, I also created the sign backing plate. And I wanted to put that in this particular job so that you could see what the maximum amount of time would be to go from start to finish on the entire piece. However, these could be pre-cut either on a shear uh, or in the case of this, we're having 90 degree corners on a panel saw. So the third and final cut in this process is actually to cut out our clear piece as part of our sign. Pop them out and just set them. So with all of the cut being uh, being finished, what you can do then is you can actually just walk up and pop out those particular pieces. Hey, pop those out. So if we take and we pop these particular pieces out, and we'll just set them there just to sort of show you how they come out of there. So you can see that we now have three pieces and putting them together with phone tape or double sided tape, then what we end up with is a ADA compliant window sign to, for use with a slider. I appreciate your time in watching this particular demonstration. If you have any questions about any of the Vision products, please contact us at 888-637-1737. And again, we made this ADA compliant 9x9 window sign using the Vision Routing Systems VR48 router. Thank you for your time, and we'll talk with you soon.